Hello and uh, welcome to something I've wanted to play for a while, but kind of just skipped it. But um, we're here though, Hogwarts Legacy. So yes, we just got the letter that we're going to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am not to say a huge Harry Potter fan, but I am. I do like the Harry Potter series. Now the whole thing with J.K. Rowling and all of that. Take that mess and toss it. We here for we here to play a video game. We're not here for any of the politics and all that junk. So here, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on the first of September. Pre preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree of the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eleazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley. Deputy Head Mistress. Nice. Oh, okay. Um, I am a wizard. Alright, this is what we got. This is what I sound like. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Am I drop it down now? It was one. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Yeah, we'll do that one. Um, normal difficulty. Uh... Obviously my name, I'm a wizard, I'm, I'm gonna be a dude in this one, so I start the journey. Not gonna be a, a witch, or not gonna be a girl this time. Well, look at me. I guess I kind of looked like that when I was a kid. It appears we are almost ready to depart. Sort of. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well... I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Whoa. Where'd he come from? Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too <laughs> long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages Not at all, since I've been to the castle, I wish I could talk like that. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Now I know there's invisible horses and stuff in the game, but I mean the movies, in the books. I really, for a second, for a split second, I thought my game glitched. Be a lot of that, I'm assuming. Alright. Warner Brothers games. Which song better not be copyright? I'd be real upset about that. Avalanche. Port Key Games. Wizarding World. Yeah, I don't have a Wizarding World account, so. I've never been to uh, to that uh, that place. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary! It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. 
Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen this? Oh, hello. I have. Goblin Rebellion. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, what I'm, am I looking he at? He is a significant threat. Oh. And it was your wife, Eliazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died. Wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I... ...received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume... That she had to get rid of it quickly. To keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Oh. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait. We did <laughs> Oh, shit. I'm trying not to cuss. This is a children's channel after all. This is a fairly friendly channel. Oh boy. Those, four, those things are going to be him. Why? Double dragon came out of nowhere. The key. Give me your hand. Hey, Elazar's got some moves. Oh, it's a cute little chipmunk. Squirrel. I always get them mixed up. You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. A bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. I get four of them? Oh, wow. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... Yeah, he what got... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Seems so. I know a little bit. A little bit, not a whole lot. I, I remember a little bit. Sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. <laughs> We've no idea who created this port key. Good or point. why. Oh, yo, this... Okay, okay, this... this that's annoying. There we go. I, 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 I thought it was gonna be like a... Like a very subtle outline. No, I... It, okay. Okay, not run. Oh, I got my wand, though. Okay, I guess that's the point or aim. I can't do anything but walk. Which is fair. Yeah, this is a beautiful How game, though. Did that poor key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you the think... port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. 
And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Sounds good to me. Mind your step. I got you. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Got a nice little groove here. Huh? Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Look at that, I can get this game in 60 frames. Why can't PS5? I'm i I'm a stop. I'm sorry. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Oh, I see it. Ambushki. But sir, why was your wife searching for oh, evidence oh, damn. of lost oh, magic? Oh man, guys, sprint. Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Axe. Oh, this sensitivity is kind of weird ice? for this. It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Interesting. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Oh, okay. I was holding it when I was supposed to be tapping it. I knew that. Excellent. Okay. Use your camera to select an active. T oh, so it's like that. It's not um. Okay. Fair enough. Hey. Okay, I'm getting to. I'm getting a little trigger happy. Uh, up there. Oh, okay. Wow, I completely whiffed. Can, can we, can we? Thank you. Anything over here? Any secrets? No, I gotta look for secrets. See? See? Some gold. Oh, well, okay. I'll take that, I guess. We're close now. It's just ahead. Yeah, we are pretty close. Steady yourself. Repair. So basic, but yet practical. Gorgeous. Okay, so now what? Built this here. I suspect they valued their privacy. That poor key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Like the statue? Getting the main map shows your surroundings. Vandalizing, you know. All right. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what would it be blocking? Well, we're about to find out, huh? What's this? Professor Fig. Oh, hello. How odd. 
Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. Well, let's touch it. What in Merlin's name? Good question. Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Oh, I guess I should have realized. Whoa, what was that? Hold on, I'm hearing things. Are we in the the bank? Oh, Hello. It reminds me of, of the bank in the movie. Just a little bit. <clears throat> it is the bank. Oh yeah. Okay, so we are in, in a bank. so far after you uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them <laughs> it, it does start off a little it does feel a little slow when it comes to the concept of like becoming a wizard and all that but how many vaults are there? It's got to build to the, you know. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. Got to build. As we speak, we're just beneath the main I'm here for the ride. The vaults you see now are the newest. A I wasn't paying it more. To the bank common at I wasn't paying attention. They I didn't realize it did that. Uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Sounds like it. Holy. Oh, look at his outfit. That's kind of cute. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Uh, thank you. I do show some form of concern, don't I? Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, I'm darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. That's not a concern then, if it's a rare thing. But then again, I guess goblins do what goblins do. Here we are. Rip. 
crazy. When Everything... was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh, I wanted to investigate that. That's unfortunate. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. I wanted to investigate this. Oh, it's a chest. Oh, okay. Ooh, got some more money. Nice. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Oh, ain't <laughs> that a bummer. <sighs> Professor? was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Hmm. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Steady your wand with and guide along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wands. I'm so confused. Oh, I missed that. Okay. It the arrow doesn't move with you have to kind of like push it a little further. There. Interesting. I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Yeah, okay. Let's look around first. A door. Well, Ooh. that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! Whoa. Oh, I'm on him like white on rice. See something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. It did? That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. Most definitely. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh lord, another one. Alright. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection's turning towards me. There we go. It does follow the light. Yeah. Rudimentary, my dear Watson. Um. Uh oh. Look out! Potato. Potato. 
There's a lot of osos. My essays. What? I don't know those spells, sir. Come on, bring it on. Otago, sir. Yeah. Back up, out. Yeah, back up. You uh, yeah, automatons are fun. There we go. I think of that. I'm right here. I ain't going anywhere, sir. <sighs> Where am I supposed to go? All the glowies. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Yes. Yes, they are. Ooh, another one. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That's where we're going. Okay. Lumos, the Lumos. Oh. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. In hindsight, that sounds crazy. I need to align these statues with their reflections. Oh, that works. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Oh, I forgot to... What the... He came in swinging. Right. Back up. Hold per hold Y during Protego to stun enemies with the stupefy. Ooh, stupefy! Let me stop. I'm about to get into my disturbed bag here. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Yes, Captain Obvious. Alright, let's head on through. Okay, and crazy. Is that a chest? Is. Now we gotta look for goodies. Gotta snag them goodies. Oh, just know over there too. Alright, we got the goodies. Oh, what is that? Floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. 
That is a pensive for viewing memories. Oh. I wonder. Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Huh. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. She could never prove it. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems are the key to understanding why. We will... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> that man's just doing his job. Choose your next words wisely. I, oh. I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Damn. You didn't have to do homie like that. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> that is extremely unfortunate.
Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Is that from the armor he we? was wearing on his arms? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Oh, I'm at Hogwarts. Wow. Nice. You love to see it. And there it is. Hogwarts. School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Fourth key games Hogwarts Legacy. This is really loud in my ears. the sorting ceremony I'm no expert but that seems more appropriate <laughs> now I need to study this locket as soon as I can but first I must contact the ministry they need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock for the moment I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me of course sir thank you ready for the sorting ceremony Ready as I ever be. <laughs> That's funny. Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting okay. ceremony is over. There Bit were pompous. complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. Kind of a pompous asshole, almost. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Not that many kids. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Uh... I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Will it now? I wonder. Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm. 
What is it? Can you say what? Let me stop. Uh, what else? A sense of loyalty? I believe myself to be a true friend. I know I value that trait in others. Hmm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. Mm. Let's try another one. Ooh. Known for intelligence, creativity, and wit. Huh? Can be a bit witty. Let's go with Ravenclaw. And you've a ready mind. Quick to learn. You belong in Ravenclaw! Awesome. Ooh. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, huh? but... Don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Trying so hard, sir. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? Rude. I shall see to it, sir. Mm -hmm. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Interesting. Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. I would not have guessed that. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Crazy, but okay. Now let's talk to this genius brilliant, over here. Dami. Brilliant. You think you could ah that is not how that... Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. Well, he said... I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I hope astronomy's on my schedule. Sounds interesting. 
I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. I wouldn't say. Uh, I would. Look at me getting snacking. I want him to be in the perfect place, a place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. I'm assuming she's into her biology. Great golden gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones. <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Disney seedling from home, and I so want him to feel cozy. Their kids Disney Carlton. is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Disney used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Disney. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. I appreciate that. Now, what are you doing? One moment. Watch this. <laughs> That's nasty, dude. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. You're a right. loser. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that. that dung bomb back to me. Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces past him home. Oh, hello. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one I have first day noticed the audio in the in, now, in your character's your voice is kind of weird. Situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Oh. Here you are. It's a big ass book. Oh. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise okay, to take full fair. advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk that makes with me sense. and we shall put it to the test. 
Alright, lead the way. Weasley Why seems... don't you cast right, so Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Hey, I'm about to get this bust to reveal some. Let me stop. Revelio. Okay. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Oh, okay. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Right. Oh, okay. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs you can see lead that directly again. to Central Hall. Oh. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Don't remember Always that being in the here. movies. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Thank Judging you. by your use that. of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. Very much. Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil? <laughs> Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. <laughs> Enough chit chat. I need to get to class right. myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. She's a Good little luck rude. Today. And remember to use your field guide, it will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me. As I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Thank you, I appreciate that. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you? masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation <laughs> regarding our late arrival. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she Fair may enough. feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from <laughs> Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold oh. it and have a look. Hmm. 
Okay. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will oh. be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Fair enough. Ooh. Nice. All right. Let's go to class. Oh, wow. You've got. Yeah. Yeah. Professor Hecate. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now. You may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. <coughs> Wingardium Leviosa. Levioso. Levioso. Yeah. Now, let's try something a little larger. Oh. Let us begin with the basic cost. <clears throat> All right. See how the dummy deflected your cost. Right. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cost. Remember, a surprised opponent. Oh. Levioso. Good. Now, well done. Good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Oh lord, I'm gonna get beasted. This should be easy. Protego complicates things. Protego. This can't be your first duel. Levioso, let's just say I'm a quick learner. I do, John. I read you. This is actually really easy. Protego. When your opponent's guard is down. 
I got you. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> that was kind of backhandish, but okay. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Oh, Thank I you, Professor that. Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. Oh, well, you I don't. demand excellence from stop. my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. I get you. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well mm. done today. Right, I shall you. reach out soon with additional assignments. Thank you. I appreciate that. Away from me! If I could undo all that happened that day, I would. Oh, domestic dispute. It's the cat again. Okay. And am I going up? Yep. I at least want to get my um my uh my uh, supplies by the end of the video, so we'll keep going. Well, at least from that. To go on a bit. We sometimes you have to remind him to finish the lesson. It's a wonder oh, nice. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Oh, thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> hey, I like Welcome him. To year five of chant. Yes, now, this will be a energy. crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right. Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Oof. Well, Tough crowd. it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Ooh, another one, huh? Nice. Akio. Okay. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. True. True. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. <laughs> Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! This guy's got some lively energy. I like him. We have a professor so far. Ah, 
I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> what I mean? Hmm. So why don't we have our newest student start us off? Hmm? Uh huh. I don't get it. What am I supposed to do? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, okay. I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best professor. Okay, okay pull the target, Show hold, and done. press release to cease casting. Akio. That's it! Oh, that's easy. Stay focused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Splendid. That's not terrible. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come oh, on up. Boy. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Oh, Lord. This up. Oh, she did really well around the jump. There we go. Oh, shit. Okay, uh... I take a forty. I take a forty what? or thirty. Okay, see now she cheating. She cheating. She cheating. A little more. Well yeah, I can have it. Let us do this. She's still cheating, though. 130? Okay. I can. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to bust. I'm going to bust. We're going to make. Yeah. We're going to make this even. Yeah. Play with me. Excellent control there. Let us make this a bit more interesting, oh, shall we? Now what? Oh. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. For real. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. <laughs> no this shit. Route settles it all. Here we go. She is a goddamn pro. That is how it's done. Yeah. I, I got a 30. That's unfortunate. I'll take it. Very good. Watch this. Womp womp. What? No way. She's cheating. There we go. She's cheating. Get it. Do not think I will start going easy on you now. Very good. 
Give me that. Give me that. Quite impressive. We out here. Watch me hit that 50 though. I'm hitting that 50. Let us see this. I see, I see, I see. But you think what a master? Hold you, got that fifty. Splendid. Very good, both of you. Well done. It's a very unique and interesting way of learning um, a spell, though. That's actually pretty cool. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Oh yeah, that can be. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. Huh. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. That's good. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course, I'll learn about another school. A you word can if you would. On humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be you wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. You know I trust your people. first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Oh, yeah. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing see what to he best did as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Hello. How was your first day coming along? Oh, yeah. Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress <laughs> Professor Ronan. Alright. Weasley after class. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, they actually. Did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I 
I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Mm. Regardless, you must continue to build She's upon trying. what you've learned. She's trying. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, oh, wow. regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. I don't like Sallow that much. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Who? Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Okay. I appreciate that. Hello, ah, sir. There you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Revelio. Okay. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Oh, it's right there. Got it. Nice. Brilliant. No, I saw another one somewhere else. Don't remember where though. It was simple enough. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. <clears throat> Reparo or Reparo. I'm about to mess that all the way up. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending Repair. something, have a go with that broken statue in the outdoor Already on it. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it knew accurate when they had found her. Already ahead of you, sir. Hello. Looking right. for me? Yep. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. 
I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? Yep. I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. My lighting tone was off. I don't know why. Oh. Oh, this place is beautiful. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Cool. I made a friend. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. I feel that. I don't like the cold either. Not the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. That's fair. He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Huh? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Huh? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Airy and mm, terrifying. I will drunk. be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Oh, there's a bunch of my colors over there. I won't tell. Move, oh, people! And here we are. Here. It is hard <laughs> to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. Huh? I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. Ravelli. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need. Okay. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do that with man your wand is your out. Own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Oh, thank you. Appreciate Enjoy that. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Alrighty. No, I don't want to open the map. Just let, let me do my thing. Do my thing. How did I end up here? On accident. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... Uh, about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. Mm. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm, uh... No, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Oh, it looks nice. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, We're having too much fun with this. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, I like that one. That one looks kind of crazy. Oh, 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 oh goodness. 
Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <sighs> Sounds like that one gets this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Soft spiral, light brown. How intriguing. Oh. I can make it how I want it. I actually kind of like this. Indeed. I don't have the ring, that's fine. Nine and a half inches. How intriguing. Hmm. I want Blackthorn. Nine and a half inches. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Would be. What does that mean? Unyielding? That's not. Curious indeed. Let's just, let's just leave it a supple. The feather of a phoenix that serves as the core of a wand, capable of great range of magic, powerful magic, consistent magic. Hmm. I don't know. They all sound good. I might go with the unicorn here because I do like consistent magic. But a phoenix feather is also good because it's a great range. So that means I'm pretty sure you get like it's very versatile. And this is just for like. Powerful magic. Ooh, it's a unicorn hmm. here. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. I'll go with that one. What do you think? <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Of course. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. Nice to meet you. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Thank you. Appreciate that, sir. Let me guess. 
You're after something fresh. Oh, we got gear too. Oh, oh that's my cell items. Yeah, I'll keep these. I got them. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Room of requirement items. I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Rebellion. Hello, Pippin. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop oh. in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? Cool. Well, for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Sounds good to me, sir. What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Yeah, these are expensive. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. I think I'm good for now, though. Appreciate your time, sir. I might be. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. Nice to meet you. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating oh. something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. <laughs> spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Your stuff's expensive, sir. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Um. What in Sam Hill is that? He didn't like that. What 
Draw it away from the building! Away from the village! There's obviously more than one of them. Let's go then! Oh, you're getting a little closer, sir. What was that? I was trying to beat him in his own game. I like it. Do more. Yeah. It's called versatility. Troll, did you two take on a fully grown troll? We did by yourselves. I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an <laughs> understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, oh, yeah. officer. Singer, Officer Singer, and thank you again. Of course. Repair. <laughs> uh, I will see what he wants. Okay. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Um, there we go. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. All right, let's repair this real quick. Repair it. down a whole troll and that's all we got with nothing rebellion me let's find him hello sir i don't believe we've met allow me to introduce myself augustus hill clothier extraordinaire i should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls and not to mention your help restoring hogsmeade to its rightful state of course i was happy to help Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Huh? Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. 
In thanks for what you did today. Oh, I truly appreciate that. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Okay. I want to see the rest of this though. Okay. A little on the pricier side. But okay. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. For real. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at what your... What you got there? Nothing. Okay. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Oh. I'd like to meet this person. Oh, curious, huh? Oh. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Please. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Not the voice I was expecting. Like, at all. But okay. Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. <laughs> Thanks for this. <laughs> My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with. Are... Oh. How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Damn. I said... My friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophanes. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. 
Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Oh, they're called galleons. Can't okay. drink butter beer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Appreciate that. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Revelios. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't yeah. already. I don't want her to worry. All right, I'm going to leave that there for now. Um, a crazy start to the game. Uh, in the next episode, we'll go see Professor Fig. And, uh, yeah. Fighting a troll was kind of crazy. I actually like that. And Renok is talking to Rockwood. That's kind of interesting. But to then, like the video, give a like, comment down below your thoughts, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye.